gonna throw a hot take out there for you guys really quickly. Big game company equal bad. We have a lot of different examples that verify this factoid. We have people like EA, we have Blizzard, we have Ubisoft, a bunch of problem children in the gaming industry that have caused a lot of issues for the outlook of what gaming companies look like to the general public. But recently, we've had another shitter to add to the list with um, Unity. The And this isn't exactly a um, game developing company, it's more of a company that allows game devs to make games. And the issue that came out recently, I made a video about it, very briefly, kind of joking about the subject, but what's happened is, this has gotten so much worse in just the past two days, and I wanted to come back with you guys with how the game companies who make games with Unity have responded. But before we get into that, I want to Kind of revamp what's happened to this whole situation in the past few days. So for those of you unaware of what's been going on crumbling in the Unity, the Unity stock's been crumbling. Literally, I'll get to that in a minute. So essentially what they're doing is for games that are made on Unity, if they make more than $200,000 or have more than 200,000 um, installs, they have to pay an extra 20 cents per install. And I don't even need to go into detail of how terrible this is. Games like Among Us, I, I talked about this in the other video, have had over 530 million downloads, which means that if the math were to check out, they would owe Unity around $100 million, which isn't a little more than pocket change in my opinion. And lest us not forget things like Genshin Impact, which have made a staggering $3.6 billion, owing Unity about $700 million. And of course, they don't actually owe this money, that's a worst case scenario situation. This is all going into effect in January of 2024. But a lot of companies have already started to come forward to get angry about this, and remember earlier how I mentioned stocks and stock prices? Well, that actually came out with a confirmed confirmation, a confirmed confirmation, that's how that works, that the Unity bosses, the big, the big men up top, actually all pulled their stock, their investments from Unity, the day before they made their announcement about this. So they knew this was a terrible update, it was going to harm the community, and no one was going to like them for it. Also, you know earlier how I mentioned EA? EA's a bad company, it's done a lot of dog shit updates in the pa and games in, in the past few years. Well, actually, you know what I learned? You know the CEO of EA that was actually in control of the company while this was happening? His name was John Ricciatello. You want to know who the CEO of, of Unity is right now? Well, it's our boy Johnald Ricciatello. Yeah, the CEO of EA is now the CEO of Unity, so it kind of makes sense that they're kind of going for a money grab situation instead of a quality of content situation yet again with this shitty game creation company. It's so sad to see, especially since it's one of the easiest like apps to make games on. So a lot of lower tier games or games that are just very simple thrive on this type of like application and they can't now because this stupid ass update and of course unity came forward recently with an apology we, we we know apologies it unfortunately is not an apology video we won't get to see anyone playing a ukulele today they dropped a tweet and uh this tweet is talking about how it's like okay this update isn't even going to impact 90 percent of our users like why are you worried about this maybe it's because 90 percent of your users aren't making mainstream games this is a very large application a lot of people use it just to make very simplistic things but if your game somehow manages to make just a quarter of a million dollars, boom, now you owe Unity, like, a, around, like, $10,000. It's insane. And they also about how, it, so, reinstall charges aren't going to be a thing. There's no fraudulent install, so pirating and people spam reinstalling a game will not count towards the 200,000 downloads. As well as, um, demos don't count, and web streaming games and charity-related installs all will not count in this update. But the thing is, how do they verify if it's a charity install? And, and how do they verify that it is a demo? They can't really verify these things without digging into the, like, data of their users way more than they already do to an uncomfortable degree. And that in itself is already bad. And people in the comments have kind of pointed that out. <laughs> With someone actually coming forward and making a fake Unity apology video. I love this so much. Well, not, not a video. It's an image. But it's like, hey there, it's certainly been a week, hasn't it? Recently, Unity's been going through some changes. We just announced that Unity will now be charging a flat fee for the developers for every install. Think of it like a rental payment. <laughs> and we purged our team terms of service agreements. We also said that we can track our users' installs retroactively, implying that we've been constantly and secretly harvesting the data of our users who didn't consent to it. This might put us into the direct violation of the GDPR, which would be illegal and immoral. We just want to say we hear you. We don't care, but we do hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if anything, is the greatest summary of this entire situation. They don't care. I, honestly, in my previous video, was hoping, oh, maybe they'll listen to their community. They'll come forward and be like, okay, all right, I get it. Bad update. We're sorry. We'll, we'll tone it back a little bit. But then I learned that the CEO of this company is the same people that dragged Battlefront into the shitter. So now I know that they're not going to be fixing shit. This is just a terrible update that's going to ruin this company. And there's no way they'd be able to track pirated installs. The whole point of a pirated install is to make it so no one knows it's happening. You're stealing. You're, you're committing a crime. So th that wouldn't 
be possible, unless they're genuinely digging that deep into our data and we haven't known it the whole time. They've been playing us behind our backs, allowing our games to be pirated. A another thing is, with the terms of service, the terms of service never mentioned these fees. Which means that all these people who signed TOSs to use this app are now having their TOSs breached by the company that threw it at them in the first place. Which is also, you know, a crime. And immoral, as the fake apology said. Oh, you know something even funnier about this situation? Someone actually found out that Unity was paying to promote this tweet. This apology got paid to be promoted. That- that's bonkers! They actually could not get enough reach for the fact that they were not even apologizing, really, just kind of explaining why they stabbed us in the back, not actually really taking the knife out. So, they- and then they couldn't get enough interaction, so they paid to have it promoted on Twitter. Or, the app formerly known as Twitter. I hate you, Elon. And as the wise men once say, if you do something stupid, you get hit in the f***ing head. So, there's a bunch of game development companies that have come forward recently. This is essentially a very pretty looking collage of all of their posts saying, hey, we're no longer going to be working for you. We're not going to be using your application. In fact, actually, one of the saddest ones, Cult of the Lamb, actually came forward and said they are going to be deleting their game. There's the headline. Deleting their game January 1st, which means that if this goes into effect January 1st, they're wiping their game off the map, which means Cult of the Lamb, very cool and fun game. If you've never checked it out, I highly recommend looking into it, is uh, going to be gone. It's going to be obliterated off of the app, the Steam and App Store wherever you find your silly little game. And other dev companies have come forward. I don't know why I have this tab up about Crema. I don't know why I found this and saved this as an important one, because I looked into it, and the games they've created are absolutely staggering ones in the market, like Temtem and Immortal Redneck. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what we're going to do without Immortal Redneck. I, my, I... I'm in tears. I'm sh shaking and quivering on the ground like a child lost in a Walmart. That's not- what? And of course we got the big ones coming out of the woodwork like Among Us coming forward, which is Inner Sloth saying, We use Unity to make our games. This would harm not only us, but fellow game studios of all budgets and sizes. If this goes through, we delay content and features our players actually want to port our game elsewhere, as other others are also considering. But many developers won't have the time or means to do this. Stop it. What the fuck? Which, yeah, it's also so goofy. There's so many different companies that are going to be screwed over by this terrible change. There's, I mean, you got to think about it, right? So this is a contract being breached, as I talked about earlier. And there are games that are made by companies like, I don't know, Nintendo, that utilize Unity. Do you know Nintendo will literally blow up someone's house if they even use a song that sounds remotely like Animal Crossing in their video? So how do you think they're going to react to Unity doing this? This tiny little game creation company, when, comp when games like Pokemon Go run off of Unity. They're going to get flattened like a goddamn pancake. They're going to get sued out the wazoo. And, and... Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Maybe Unity gets away with this and people just stop using it. And if that's the case, game creation companies like Unreal Engine by Epic Games are probably going to thrive a lot more. Which is crazy because Unreal Engine, while it is more complex to learn, has a lot more capabilities and can probably make a better game. So, so while you might have to spend an extra few weeks learning, you're going to make something better in the end of things. But it does suck because a lot of these games aren't going to know how to port over. I know some friends who create small games and they have no clue how they're going to be able to go forward with this. Because if this happens, a lot of people are just going to stop using Unity and probably not support Unity moving forward, which is going to cause the games they're making to most likely go stagnant. Because how are you going to make them if the app gets deleted or people just get pissed off and leave? And even games that I'm partnered with, like SCP Secret Laboratory, have come forward and put their own, like, T out into the world. I can't read this. It's, like, font size 2 and uses, like, like aerial font, so I can't really tell what they're saying, but essentially, the gist of it is, hey, Unity, you're an idiot, and uh, we, we don't know what we're going to do. Because I don't think that Northwood's going to be able to move their entire game over to something like Unreal. They actually took around two years to move from Unity 2017 to Unity 2021. So, I don't know what they're going to do moving their game, because... And this goes for other small game companies. Like, how are they going to do this? Because eventually, if Unity just keeps going down this path... They're gonna- they're not gonna use it anymore. And I also heard that Unity removed Unity Plus, which is the one that would- the, the subscription service that would make it so the threshold is higher, so you don't- you have to spend a little more money to not get hit with a giant fee. But they got rid of that. So, yet another way that Unity is squeezing these companies for every single penny they own. It's just disgusting, man. Honestly, that's about it for now. The situation looks really bleak. I- I have a feeling that they're not gonna reverse this considering the CEO or the past CEO of EA is the one pulling the reins behind the scenes here. I- I'm still gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna hope that this company decides to turn around because this is gonna harm a lot of really fun games that I genuinely enjoy. I mean, I've only recently gotten into Among Us years late, but <laughs> I, I like it regardless. Never too late to start something fun. But thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Stick around for more. Help us grow.
I and also like the video so you see me on your homepage more. And the song of the day, of course, I since the CEO is a little bit of something stupid. I did something stupid by Lola Marsh. It's the Better Call Saul version it's by Lola Marsh. So definitely give this a listen. It sounds so pretty and is a bit of a vibe. So I'm going to add it to the songs of the day playlist. Honestly, that's about it for now though. I Hope the situation turns around. Also, yesterday, I uh, did a story time style video, and you guys seem to really like it. So, let me know if you want more like that in the comments, hopefully. I had a lot of fun with it, and so, if you guys actually like it, I'll make sure to keep it on the oven, keep it cooking, in case I find something else fun to talk about for you guys that isn't just news-style content. But, uh, that's about it. Thank you guys for being here, and as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, goodnight, and John Richitello is a stupid name anyway. It sounds like a knockoff Italian name. Get out of here, dude.